Okay, white guilt. Let's talk about it. And I love it. Yeah. I love the fact that you don't have to be a manly man, and then, and then we're not putting this weird thing on our young boys too that they have to choose mm. to to only play with GI Joe, and yeah. they can't ever. You know what I mean? I'm glad yeah. that we're at a place now, but we have to normalize it and make it not such a thing of oh he must be gay if he's wearing that or if he's looking like that. There's men who wear makeup, mm -hmm. and not just actors. Like every day, you know what I yeah. mean? And I'm like, wow, okay. And then of course I think. And I shouldn't. It shouldn't even bother me. But I'm just like, oh, is he gay? That's the first thing that will come in my uh, head. You know what I mean? If I see a man wearing a certain type of clothing or whatever, and then I'm just like, no, he's just metrosexual. He's just in, in touch with his feminine side. He's just, you know, whatever. Right. Or maybe there is no feminine side. we got to stop this thing of pink is girls and blue or is boys. Is, yeah. and, and dolls. Uh, Here's the thing about dolls. dolls. And I got my son dolls early on yeah. because when I like dolls. Yeah. But two is they, and there's research about this, like playing with dolls and stuffies and things like that. And stuffies are okay for boys yeah. with dolls, whatever. Yeah. But the, it, it grows empathy. Yes. It grows, like there's so much to that and we need more empathy and more yes. um, role playing yes. and more um, caretaking yes. from the masculine that yes. we've had. And, and um, yeah. so that to me, that was like on purpose. Yeah. But, no, we have to have little boys knowing how to change a diaper because uh, when they get older, they're going to have to change a diaper yeah. sometimes. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's not just the woman all the time who has to change a diaper. They need to know how to do that. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's, it's tricky. It's still very tricky, the whole masculine thing and, and feminine thing. But I think it's even trickier for black boys. Mm. Yep. And so to, uh, expand on that a little bit. So... If a white boy says, uh, Mom, I want to wear this tutu to school or whatever, the there's, there's going to be an issue, right? but it's not going to be the same thing as if a little black boy wears a tutu to school. Because if other black men especially see that a woman is allowing her son to just a little kid, I'm talking about little, little kids. Yeah. To wear that, what are you doing? You gotta make him a man, you gotta, you know, whatever. Because the worst thing in the world in some, some black communities mm. is for a black man to be gay. There are still black places in the world where they will kill you for being gay mm -hmm. in black communities. Now, there may be white places that do it too, yeah. but definitely, in Africa, definitely in the Caribbean, definitely in certain parts of Harlem, you know what I'm saying? You will be dead for being gay or even looking gay or even mm. seeming gay, speaking gay, whatever that means, dressing in what they appear, you know, they think is gay. Mm. So for a black boy, it's even harder to let them just express themselves and wear that little tutu to school. It just is. I don't make the rules. Yeah, yeah, that's, and you know, my son is black, and, and but luckily he didn't, we homeschool, but right. for years he used to like to wear dresses, because they're much more interesting there you go. than whatever, there you and go. he, you know, he's very much into girls, and he's yeah. very, he's got a huge masculine side, but he's also yeah. got this, like, he would come up with different characters, yeah. and play them, yeah. and it just, like, when you take out some of those stereotypes or those fears, and you just let a child play, Play, yeah then um, but it was hard and we were very aware like but we're also white parents with a black child and we get judged for that so like in public we limited that a little bit yeah. because of we just didn't want to fall back for him or yeah. whatever yeah but here we we're like well he's just whatever. in the house let him play yeah, yeah. Who cares? and right. it doesn't usually he doesn't do it anymore but right. he used to and it was fun and he's he's a very good actor and you that's know? the thing. It's more of an actor thing than it is a thing of, yeah. oh, is he gay or is whatever. Sometimes, you know, you always want to wear these. Things. Oh, let's talk about this for a second. Okay. So there's a huge thing in the black celebrity community where they're like really, really upset. When I say they, there are black men who are really upset about black male actors who dress like women. Have you heard this? 
No. I'm gonna, I'll send okay. you the link on it. But okay. there's a whole thing where there's two sides of it, especially when it comes to comedy. So yeah. there's a lot of black men who who don't like uh, 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 when Marlon Wayans and his brother did um, white chicks, you know, dressed up like women. Oh, yeah. When they didn't like um, um, even Tyler Eddie Murphy. Perry? Oh, yeah. We'll see now. I'll get to the Tyler Perry. Okay. I'll put him last. Okay. But getting to the uh, uh, Eddie Murphy dressing up like a oh, woman yeah. and you know, Big Mama's house, Martin Lawrence, and just go whatever and say, why is they trying to uh, emasculate us? They're trying to take away the black man's thing, and this is all this is all a, a conspiracy, and they're trying to do all these things to to you know take away the black man's masculinity and blah blah blah. Now, there's another side of it where Marlon Wayans comes forward and says, you guys are ridiculous, we're just comedians. You know, you don't say anything when Mrs. Doubtfire, when Robin Williams is wearing that. You don't say anything when Tootsie, with Dustin Hoffman is wearing that and getting the Academy Award for it. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's this thing now. Um, now, with regards to Tyler Perry, so there was another person who says, listen, he said, let me tell you about the dress, meaning the black man in a dress. That dress bought a huge studio that has big time names of black people on the names of the studios. The Spike Lee studio, the Cicely Tyson studio, huge whatever. So y'all can say what y'all want about the dress. That dress has put millions of black people to work and has, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So there's just two sides of it. But there is this thing of, you're trying to take away the masculinity of the black man. This is exactly what they tried to do to us when they tried to, you know, um, uh, 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 make us feel less than, you know, during slavery time and the, you guys are letting them do it again and trying to put a dress on us or whatever. So that's a huge thing. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, okay, in the yes. black in the black celebrity community. I will send you that. Okay. I'll send you a couple things on that. But again, it's this thing of we're just actors. We're just playing a role. Yeah. Obviously, you know, Tyler Perry doesn't walk around wearing the Medea dress going to the store. You know what I'm saying? He's not walking around in that. That would that be thing. awesome if he it did, would. though. I you know what I'm saying? It. That's yeah. what made him a billionaire. You're going to yeah. take away that from him? Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And he's done such good. For communities yeah. and for, you know, whatever. He's put so many people to work. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah. tricky. It's very tricky. But the masculine thing is a big thing in the black community and in the black church and in the black this and the black that. Blackity black. Don't talk back. <laughs> It's a lot. I personally, as a child, thought that the cops were the good guys, for sure. That's what I've been taught. And if I'm ever in trouble and I see a police officer, I should be able to go to them and say, please help me, I'm in trouble.